What's up, YouTube? So today we're talking about physical modeling in Bitwig's grid. So I have done videos similar to this with Vital, Serum, several other plugins. This is obviously going to be for Bitwig native devices, and there are probably going to be easier ways just using like the comb filter and that kind of thing. But I kind of want to get a little bit nerdy in this video because I want to create a device that we can do several things with. And Bitwig's grid is really cool for prototyping kind of modular ideas. So anyway, let's dive into the grid. So one of the first things that we're going to want to make sure of is that we have more than one voice being triggered in the grid so that we can have some tails of the comb filter to resonate with. So here, let's jump into the grid. And what I want to do is I want to switch this union over to a noise oscillator. So we can actually just search for the noise and just drag it and drop it on top of the union and it'll keep all of the routing intact. So now what I want to do is I want to switch this ADSR over to a pluck. And you know, we can change it a little bit later if we need to. But for now, let's just start with the pluck. And let's just double check what we've got coming out the speakers when we trigger a note. Cool. Okay, so now let's add a comb filter. And let's turn the feedback up. So we're going to want to add an ADSR after this. And that way it allows us to create some kind of sustain so that the voice doesn't just kill as soon as this envelope is done. Does that make sense? So by default, this comb filter should already be key tracked. So we've essentially already created some kind of rudimentary physical modeling string. Let's add a little bit of reverb here. I'm going to use Valhalla, super massive. Okay, let me add some MIDI so I don't have to keep playing it. So in the comb filter, we have this low pass filter, which is kind of in the feedback chain here. What this does, this basically represents the dampening of the physical modeling effect. So what we can do is we can apply like the velocity to these uh, parameters, both the feedback and the dampening. So then if we go back here, we can jump into the MIDI and actually just uh, randomize these velocities. Okay, so of course, we're not just limited to this kind of pluck string sound, we can actually create several different uh, types of uh, physical models and then kind of mix between them using the merge. So essentially we wanna create a couple of different envelopes, for example, like a pluck and a bow, and then we can mix between these two with this merge. So here, this pluck, let's change over to an ADSR. And here we can turn the sustain up and we can give it some attack. And then we're gonna want a value parameter which we can use to mix between the two. This one is a bit bright, so I'm gonna add a low pass filter into the chain here. can actually add a high pass as well. Just to get some of that kind of fizzy movement, none of that low pass rumble through. Because we're doing so much filtering here, we may have to just add some uh, attenuation or gain just to increase the volume a little bit. 
so that it matches this one. Okay, so here let's call this exciter type. So this is basically going to choose between like a pluck or a bow. In fact, we can create more. You know, here on the merge, we can say add three ports. So here, what could be cool is to create some kind of more just kind of pure tone that uh, will probably result in more of a kind of mallet sound. Although we probably want the it, it to go from uh, a mallet to the string plunk, so let's say a mallet to the plectrum to the bow. I think it'll sound more natural that way because it'll be like a string to a string. Do you know what I mean? That's actually pretty cool. The kind of harmonic of the of the pluck modulating that could result in some pretty cool stuff. Okay, so what we can also do is we can create filters to kind of create kind of varying different resonant bodies for the sound. So again, let's go with the merge technique over here and let's add another value. And then here we can use uh, some XP filters. So the first one we can actually just leave dry like this. And then the second one we can go through the filter And then we can choose uh, some kind of different filter here. So what could be cool is to notch it at the fundamental and then key track it. We can maybe add another filter after to remove some of the tops. a couple more here and we can kind of just quickly add some different variations here
So something that I learned recently is that using all pass stuff, you can easily emulate a kind of spring reverb kind of sound. So let's try that. Let's send both the all pass filter and the all pass delay. And uh, we might need to do a couple of combinations of these. We can actually just take this whole stack, just duplicate it, and then go from the one, like this, boom. We probably want to change the delay values slightly. And then maybe add some gain. probably want to velocity map this input to the comb filter as well. Okay, now what we can do is we can look at some voice stacking, which I think is one of the truly special things about the Twix grid. So here, for example, if we set up a voice stack of like five, and then here we set up the stack spread and we modulate all of these merge things that we created, right? Um, what that's gonna do is it's going to create a new voice for each and for each voice, it's going to spread those parameters across those merges. So now we'll have five voices, pluck, a string, a mallet, all those different kind of body types and all that kind of stuff. And we're not just limited to that, just those uh, parameters. We can modulate other parameters as well, like some of these uh, decays and attacks and other stuff like that. Maybe some of these harmonics here, for example. And we can actually go up to 16 voices, but that'll be too much, I think. <laughs>
Okay, I think that's where I'm going to be leaving it for today. I'm going to be uploading this preset to my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. Uh, so if you want to know what that's all about, check out the link in the description. And if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.